I have just configured a new company code to use in my testing and I'm getting errors everywhere because there are configuration steps that I have not done yet and I'm taking this chance to explain the different errors to you and why they happen and how to solve them. So this is one of the most interesting errors you can get in SAP S4 HANA and this is specific to SAP S4 HANA. Correct the customizing settings for ledgers for the universal journal. So you see the universal journal, this is why this one is related to SAP S4 HANA. So as you see, the error doesn't tell us much. Let me give you some context here. So now I'm trying to post a goods receipt with reference to a purchase order in this new company code that I just defined and I got this error. So once you get this error and you can get it in different transactions, it is a very common error when we configure a new company code and we have some missing customization that are related, that's related to the ledger and the company code part. So once you get this error, it doesn't explain much. What, what you need to do is to go to the long text and here you will find more information. So you have the message number, you have diagnosis. So there are inconsistencies in customizing settings. So it doesn't tell you what are the inconsistencies, the inconsistencies, but it tells us something is missing in configuration, right? And then here, if this message was displayed during a posting activity, which is our case, then use transaction. This is the transaction code to check for specific customizing settings. And this is what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to click on this transaction code. And this will give me all the different errors that happened when I tried to post. So as you see here, we have the version zero of controlling area CLCA is not assigned to any ledger. So this is one error. The second error is enter translation date type for company code. And the third error is enter exchange rate type for company code. So let's do all of them one by one and see why we get this error and how to fix it. So first, the version zero of controlling area CLC is not assigned to any ledger. You know how in SCEP, FI and CO, so external accounting and managerial accounting are 100% reconciled in SCEP S4 HANA. So the way they are reconciled is anything that's posted to finance is also posted to CO. And to do this, we have to assign our leading ledger in finance to a CO version. So SCEP can replicate any postings from FI to CO. This is a very basic configuration activity that's mandatory and it's something that I have not done yet. This is why I'm getting this error. To solve it, you can easily go to the long description of the error and this will tell you how to fix it and there is even a link to the configuration activity we need to do. So now I'm on the development environment. I'm actually on a sandbox, which means I can configure anything we want. I want, but if you are in a project, you need to do this in your development environment because this is a customization activity that you need later to transport to quality and production. So now I'm going to click on this and it will take me to the configuration directly. Here we have integration of controlling with financial accounting, define ledger for CEO version. So I, I will choose this and then click on OK and then start this transaction that is highlighted. And here we can look for our controlling area, CLCA. As you see, it does not exist. We don't get any results because I have not created this entry yet. So I'm going to copy the controlling area 0001. This is the standard one. So I'm going to copy this entry and I'm just going to change the controlling area to CLCA. So this is our controlling area. And then as you see, so CLCA 0L will go to zero legal valuation. So now we have assigned the version zero to the ledger zero L for our controlling area. And this is all what we need to do to solve the first error. So click on save and let's go back. We ha just have to save this into a request. And now let's go back to our errors screen. So now this error is fixed. Now we understand what it means and we understand how to solve it. The, the second error is related to the translation date and the third error is related to the exchange rate. So these two, as you see here, we don't have any long text. So if I double click on the line, it will not give me any extra information. Now, both of these I already know, and they are related to the configuration of ledger with the company code. Now to configure this, let's go to the configuration menu slash OSPRO. But before we do, let me explain to you the concept behind this error. So now you see here we have currency type 20 which is not our main currency type. The main currency type is 00, which is our document currency. And I have configured my company code to post any transaction that happens in addition to the, the normal currency 00 for the document. Also, it should be posted in currency type 20. 
regardless of the meaning of this currency type. But this is a different currency type than the original one, which means that SAP has to translate and convert any amount posted from 00, zero to currency type 20. And to do this, we have to tell SAP which exchange rate type to use and which translation date type to use. This is basic configuration that we need to do. So now I'm going to switch to the configuration menu, SPRO. And then let me show you the menu path where you can configure this. And this is one of the most important configuration transactions in finance in SAP s There are a lot of things that you need to do there and you have to understand it 100%. So that the configuration transaction is in financial accounting, global settings, ledgers, and then here we have ledger, define settings for ledgers and currency types. This is very important. So you start this transaction. First, if you get warnings here, so again, this is a sandbox. So it is a testing system. A lot of people are using it. So it's normal that I have a lot of warning messages that are not related to me. So I'm just going to ignore all of them. So click on cancel, and then we can start using the transaction. So here we have our leading ledger, 0L. And then if I go here to company code settings for the ledger, so as the name says, these are company code settings for the ledger. So we can look for our company code, CLCA. Ah, oh, sorry, the company code is CL20. The CLCA is the controlling area. So our company code is CL20. So this is the company code. And as you see, we have a local currency type 10 and global currency type 20 activated on my company code. To see more de details, we can double click on the line. And here are all the details. So we have the fiscal year variant, the posting period variant, and then we have the currency types. So as you see, we have here the company code currency, 10. We have the controlling area currency, 20. And we have the controlling object currency, 70. Now, to see more details related to each currency type, we can open the window from here. So let me show you this. So here, you click on this plus icon. And it will show us more details. So as you see here, we have the exchange rate type is empty. Translation date type is empty and we have real-time conversion. So SAP is supposed to convert any amounts posted from the document currency, the transaction currency, into this currency type, 20. But we have not told SAP which exchange rate type to use and which translation date type to use. Now you see here for company code currency, for example, if you open this, here we have the exchange rate type is M and we have the translation date type is three, translation date. But here for currency type 20, we don't have these two, which are mandatory. So SAP give us an error when it tried to post a transaction to this leading ledger with this company code. So now we need to fix this. Now, as you see here, we cannot change this configuration from this screen. And the reason is because I have maintained it. If you cannot maintain it here on the level of company code and ledger, then you can maintain it here in currency conversion settings for company code. So let's go to this window. Again, I'm going to cancel. So now we are in currency conversion settings for company code. And let's look for our company code, CL20. So for CL20, we have group currency 30. So this is the only entry we have here. We don't have any other entry for currency type 20. And this is why we get the error. So now I'm going to copy this entry. And instead of 30, I'm going to insert 20, which is for group currency. And here I'm getting this error that currency type 20 is defined as a company code independent you have defined currency conversion settings for it in company code sale 20. This is not allowed. The currency conversion settings is, not, is inconsistent and we need to correct the currency conversion setting in define settings for ledger and currency type customizing activity. So what this means is we cannot maintain any company code dependent values for this currency type. It should be only maintained on the global level. Let me show you this. So now I'm going to cancel this, cancel. And let's delete the line that we tried to add, otherwise SCP will give us an error. And we are going to move to another window, which is global currency conversion settings. So you see here we have two windows in the menu. It's either currency conversion settings for company code, which means the setting is dependent on the company code, or global currency conversion settings, which means the settings are independent of the company code. And this is the case for the currency type 20. So now I'm going to double click on this window. And here we don't have currency type 20. So I'm going to add it. So let's copy this line, for example, go in, copy. So the currency type is 20. The source for me, it will be 00, zero which is the document currency. So I want SAP to use the document currency as a base for calculating the global currency. And here we have the exchange rate type M and the translation date type three, enter. 
So now we have maintained the conversion settings for the controlling area currency type 20. The way that SAP knows that the settings for this currency type should only be maintained on the global level is because in the currency type definition here, you can see that currency type 20 has this checkbox. If we go to the right, company code specific conversion. So 20, currency type 20 doesn't have this checked, which means the settings are not company code specific, but they are on the global level. This is why if the currency type is not checked here, it means that we need to maintain the settings in the global currency conversion settings. So here, this is what we did. And we have maintained now the exchange rate type and also the translation date type, and this should fix our error. So I'm going to save the settings that we did. And now let's switch back to our configuration, to our transaction to post the material movement. So now these are the errors we found. We have fixed all of them. So the version 0 for CO area is fixed. The inter translation date type is fixed and the exchange rate type is fixed. So now we should be able to post. We have this one also which, which says correct the customized settings for the ledger for the universal journal. So this one is generic. It is here because we have other errors and we have already fixed all of them. So now let's go back and try to post our transaction. So, okay. I'm going to try to post without restarting the transaction, but if it doesn't work, we will have to restart. So click on post. And the transaction has been posted. We don't have any errors. So as you see here, we have material document is posted, which means that we have fixed all the errors. So good. So now I hope you understand how to fix the error that you when you get an error that says please correct the customizing for ledger and company code i hope now you understand what to do to understand the errors and also how to fix them let me know if you have any questions in the comments thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon